Bring it back. Hi guys, uh, welcome to my sort of first ever YouTube video. Uh, we're going to be playing a bit of Car Mechanics Simulator. Um, today I was hoping to do. Uh, I've selected a job, and it's basically a uh, remove and replace the crank on the bottom of a clear V6. So, taking it all apart, putting it back together. Now, I've not really been playing the game very long, so I've still got a pretty basic garage, and unfortunately, I still I'm not allowed to use the engine crane. So, I'm going to have to take it apart and put it all back together inside the car, which is. Uh, never ideal, it's always going to make life a little bit more difficult. Um, the job I was given, I've sort of had a little play around before I started this video just to get my bearings. Um, it also had a few exhaust issues but that was just really basic and I've just replaced that anyway. Um, but the, yeah, the tough thing is basically uh, the alternator and the timing belts and everything aren't too much of a problem but to take the crankshaft off is basically to use to dismantle the entire engine. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. Um, first things first, we probably want to take the, inter the exhaust manifold off. It's a problem. So this is just going to be basically a lot of disassembly. Um, just for the record, I'm <laughs> by no means a car mechanic, so you'll have to excuse the uh, a few errors along the way and a few stupid mistakes. Your wheels off. Uh, yeah, so we'll take the engine covers off. So the crankshaft should be right at the bottom. Well, you can't see it because we've still got all the timing belt off. But that's, that should be it there, yeah. That's the end of it. So that's what we're trying to get down to. But we can't just we'll take it off from the bottom because you have to hit the pistons out from the top. So we've basically got to take everything apart to be able to get that one part out. But once we get that out, we'll replace it and then we'll put everything back together. No, we can't because the I'll take the rest of the engine covers off um, and then I'll go and take all the timing belts off and everything. And that'll uh, then allow me to take all the cams out. Uh, one point to note, I have already drained the car of oil, but <laughs> that's one thing you'll soon learn with this game is you have to take, you actually have to manually use the oil drain to take the oil out, because if you take a part off and spill oil all over the floor, they, the game fines you for, for, <laughs> for the clean up cost, so always remember to remove the oil first. These are all just the cam covers. Start to start take the spark plugs out as well. As I say, I've only been playing this game a few days, so it's all uh, quite new to me, all the controls and everything still, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's uh, surprisingly detailed, really, all the little bits you have to do. Um, I'm now take off all the timing belt. You'll see, so if I want to take, say, off the cam gears, um, obviously you have to take the belt off first, but to take the belt off, I have to take the belt tensioner off. To take the belt tensioner off, I have to take the bottom timing cover off, which requires... Yeah. So you see it highlights in red the bits you have to take off to access certain parts. And now we can take the timing cover off. I would have thought it had been blocked by the... So I can now take the tensioner off and I should now be able to take the belt off. And now I should be able to take the cam gears off. Obviously this is my first video so if you can be gentle. <laughs> um, obviously it's, it, 
a lot of learning to do and how this YouTube thing sort of works. Um, but if you've got any suggestions on things to improve or what would make better, or if there's any sort of specific cars or, or engines you want me to do in this game, uh, you know, happy to do that. I've also thought about uh, maybe doing a few car videos as well, um, real car videos. Um, I've got a uh, Lancia River 8. I thought about maybe doing a few videos of that, some of the things, some of the work that needs doing to that, or maybe doing a few review videos, that sort of thing. I don't know if that's sort of thing um, anyone's interested in. I know it's a bit of a strange mix sort of gaming and cars, but I don't know. It, Maybe it's uh, something that, that people would enjoy. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, so we're just taking the heads off now. Um, and then this should give us access to the pistons. Uh, to take the pistons out though, we're going to have to take the bottom of the car off. Because um, e each piston should be um, binded to the, to the crank by a sort of a piston brackets, I forget what you call them. Um, so we'll have to go underneath and take them off before we can take the pistons out. I wonder if it, 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 it may or may not make me take the gearbox off as well. Some, some, of the, some things in this game are completely accurate and it makes you do everything and sometimes you can get away with sort of a few slightly cheaty bits that makes life a little bit easier. Um, you see, hopefully I won't have to take the gearbox off but for now we're going to have to jack the car up to get underneath and take the oil tray off right where are we so we've got uh, rod caps that's the name I was thinking of and we've also got the crank uh, bolt case as well bearing caps so you see, um, the game represents damage basically through just extreme rust for, for whatever reason. But you can see all the uh, uh, all the car rods on the pistons are all in a good, nice, clean condition. So that means that, you know they're in a good condition. Whereas the actual crank is just absolutely covered in rust. Uh, and so that's, this is the part where we'll be replacing today in this video. But that's how you can, and that's true for all parts in this game, so whether it's brake pads or brake calipers. If that's the bit you've got to replace because it's damaged, you'll see that it'll just be completely covered in rust, and that represents damage. So, um, we've got that off. Now we're going to have to come back down again and pull each of the six pistons out. Hopefully. So. Three on the other side. See, so that whenever you take parts off, you'll see in this corner it will show you a percentage of, of condition. Now, when when uh, you get a job like this, it wants parts replaced. Damaged parts are no will normally be like ten or twenty percent. So even though this piston here is a bit worn because it's got some oil and crap in it, it's still only sixty-six. It's well within what is acceptable. Um, we're probably going to have to go back underneath and see if we can take the crank out now. Or whether it's going to want me to take the gearbox off as well. Um, what's that? It's a flywheel. Yeah, kind of. No. Okay, we're going to have to take the gearbox off as well. Which is obviously going to take the drive shaft, which is going to require the wheel. Right. So let's just take the wheels off very quickly. Should it allow me to take the axle off? Duh. Do I need both sides? Yeah. Okay. See, again, as I was talking about the rust thing, you know, if this tyre was 10 or 20% uh, condition, then this would just be completely covered in rust. But it's not. Pretty sure you could take the gearbox off with the starter motor still attached in reality, but hey ho. Take the fuel tank off. 
two bolts for the gearbox out and take the clutch out. Clutch plate, flower wheel. Right, so now we should have everything out of the way and the crankshaft should come out. Yes, success. So let's come lower this back down. And all we should have left is the block. Which we do. Good. So now, um, earlier on, I had a look what was going to need and I've tried to buy everything I needed. So hopefully you don't have to sit through me sitting on the computer buying everything from the shop. So hopefully now it's just a case of rebuilding everything. Um, so these are parts we want to put back in to get it back up to standard. So, at part mount mode, and let's have a look. So really the first thing is to put the crankshaft back in from underneath. This game does sometimes let you put things in a little bit out of order compared to what you're doing in reality, but you know, there we go. Uh, so put a brand new crankshaft in, so you see before that was completely rusted up. Now it looks all nice and new. We'll put the two to retain the crank. Um, and then we might as well, while we're here, do the gearbox. Put the clutch plate back on. He's bearing. And don't want to forget the starter motor. <laughs> that back in. It's a bit of a strange choice of car really. Um, it seems to be largely American cars in this game. And I also noticed that, that none of the cars really seem to be called by the real names. So, I mean, this is just basically looks like a complete copy of a Clear V6, but it's you know, a LNT Calipé. I, I guess that must be a licensing issue from, from Renault. But I noticed that the, in some of the DLC they've got things like the Mazda RX-7 so they've called that by the real name so I don't really understand why there seems to be sort of a, a, a mix of what is and isn't acceptable in terms of naming um, lower this back down and now we can should be able to drop the pistons in to reach the holes piston the piston rings obviously in reality I'm sure you'd use new piston rings not recycle the old ones but the game does not care. I'll put these six pistons in and then we'll go back underneath and put the rod caps back on. Bring it back up. And it should now let me put all the rod caps back on. Yes. Well, this would uh, be a fairly expensive repair bill if you wanted, if this needed to be done in in real life. Put the oil pan back on. Right. Bring it back down. I don't know where this car left out on this ring. It's also <laughs> wow, it's got quite a bit of rust on the body this car, isn't it? So let's put the heads back on. It's one thing you'll notice with this game, as you level up, so well currently I'm level eight. But the high, as you get to higher levels, you will um, you get to unlock more upgrades. 
Um, and then you can do things like faster screwing and unscrewing of bolts and nuts and things. Um, and unlock more bits of your garage and that sort of thing. So I'm just dropping the spark plugs back in. Um, and put the cams back in and this is just the housing to contain the cams. Control the valve timings. covers just to protect that. So I've still got to put all the timing belts back on and all the uh, cam gears and everything so we'll do that in a minute. But I'll just do the is that on my screw. Just do the other side, put the cams in here. So these game missions can turn into quite lengthy projects, particularly when you get sort of quite a complicated one like this one, where, where it gives you a part that's one, only one part that really needed to be replaced, but being so deeply buried into the engine makes it into quite a lengthy repair job. I mean, as it would be in reality, so I mean, it, it, the accuracy is very good on this game, so that's nice, but uh, it's certainly not as easy as some of the jobs where you just have to change the brake pads. Uh, you also get storyline missions. Mm. Where people have certain incidents, whether they've crashed or they've <laughs> tried to go off roading or something like that. Uh, and then you have to fix the cars, so often, you know, some of them where they've gone off roading and they've taken all the bottom suspension out or wiped out the front body panels. Can be quite interesting missions. Near the fuel rail. Sit the throttle body back on. Okay, so let's sort out all the timing belts. Uh, in all honesty, I don't know what order this should go back on in reality. So I'll just stick all the idlers and cam gears on. Water pump. I'm hoping as this game goes forwards they, they fix any of the remaining bugs and uh, also hopefully they'll um, add in sort of a bit more DLC of some of the other foot cars. Um, be nice to see some sort of properly named cars. Uh, hopefully they'll introduce some some Jags and some Lotus, and <laughs> maybe even an Evo. That would be brilliant. Um, but we'll just have to see. Th they seem to be developing and releasing updates pretty quickly, so. You know they seem to be pretty on it, so hopefully we'll start to see more content coming out and becoming available shortly. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're going to open the game up for mods. Um, I don't know if you know. If you can let me know in the comments, that'd be good. Um, but if they do, that could be could be quite interesting as well. And then hopefully someone will mod an Evo into the game. Should be nice. So I'll put the timing belts back on. Ooh. Okay, so I need an idle roller A. Sorry, it's one part I forgot to buy, so I'll just have to go to the parts shop. Idle. Hmm. So if we can just quickly purchase that. Mount then the brand new part. Should have put a new belt already, which I did. And roll a B. Okay, good. So that's that. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's just the manifold connecting to the exhaust. Have 
have I forgotten anything? That's the next question. This is normally when I try and turn it on and it says <laughs> you've forgotten a part in the middle of the engine. Let's have a look at the list. So that's saying that's all done and that's all done. Okay, so let's not forget to put some oil in it. Fill the car up. That'll do. So, let's just try and see if it'll let us go for a quick spin in it then. Now we've got a working engine. Hey. Obviously starts. If you if you do something critically wrong it doesn't let you go to the test track, it'll say, you know, car won't start or no oil or something like that. The uh, driving controls aren't really amazing in this game. I mean it's certainly no ooh, no racing simulator. Oops. Cool. Nor am I any racing driver apparently. This is just a quick course round, it does things like suspension tests and things. Oh wow! Okay. Taking going over the suspension test at 150 kilometers an hour is not a good idea apparently. Okay. Brilliant. So we've just dismantled and rebuilt the uh, V6 from a Renault Clio. Um, hopefully that was vaguely interesting to people or you know, at least informative. Um, if there's any other cars you'd like me to do going forward please let me know in the comments or if there's anything that could be sort of improved or anything that's particularly bad about the videos that you know, I shouldn't do going forwards please let me know and you know, if you fancy it hit the subscribe button